It's time for another edition of Around the Mesa presented by MRC. John Schaefer with you for GoAztecs.com. And pleased today be, to be joined by the athletic director at San Diego State, J.D. Wicker. J.D., it is great to be with you. How are you doing this weekend? I'm doing well, John. It's uh, great to have the opportunity to speak with you and with Aztec Nation. Let's start, J.D., with the latest in the negotiation between San Diego State and the city as it relates to the purchase and sale agreement. Uh, where do we stand right now? Well, you know, we delivered a signed purchase and sale agreement to uh, the mayor's office last week, and we're hopeful that the city council would choose, or the mayor's office uh, would choose to docket that purchase and sale agreement uh, next week to discuss. But unfortunately, it doesn't look like that's going to happen. So we'll continue, uh, you know, hoping that the city council is going to put this, uh, this document that's a very fair document that's been negotiated over 14 months. Uh, and, you know, has a lot of great things for the city of San Diego uh, in it, but it's also fair for the, the CSU and San Diego State University. You know, J.D., you have one more year remaining on this lease. What would happen if that lease expired without a purchase and sale agreement being reached with the city? Well, obviously, we'll play football on SDCCU uh, this fall uh, is our plan. And then if, if the lease runs out and we don't own the property at that point, we're really going to have to assess what works best for San Diego State University and San Diego State football. And is that going to be playing in SDCCU uh, or, or elsewhere as we look towards building a new stadium in San Diego? So have you looked specifically at other venues in the San Diego region outside of SDCCU Stadium? We are studying uh, venues throughout Southern California that could potentially work for us. Uh, we've had conversations with folks and we're going to look at it as we think about uh, from an expense and revenue standpoint and, you know, uh, an environment standpoint for creating the best environment for our football team. And then also, uh, you know, just, the state that the stadium might be in and having a nice new uh, uh, stadium to play. In. How is the negotiation impact your timeline for the new stadium? As in, as this is drawn out, is this impacting the possibility of playing in that stadium in the fall of 2022? Uh, right now, if we can get the purchase and sale agreement finalized sometime in the month of July, we should be good to go. Uh, to keep our timeline. Our hope is that we can start construction in late summer uh, or even early fall and still be able to play football in the fall of 2022 in a new state. You've begun the sales process recently for the new football stadium. What's been the, uh, the reaction from fans and alumni and those that have an interest in being a part of this new project? People are really excited about the founders uh, premium product that we're talking with them about. It's going to be something that we feel is unique to San Diego and the San Diego state. You know, one of the things that continues to be a question is, you know, when we'll actually get to use it, when are you getting a purchase and sale agreement? So I think uh, getting that finalized and actually starting construction will help us even more. But, you know, we've, you know, had a couple gifts that we've been able to, to announce uh, recently philanthropically. So there's still a lot of energy around the new stadium uh, for San Diego state and the San Diego community as a whole. You know, JD, looking at the fall for your student athletes, uh, when do you feel as if a determination may be made in terms of getting students back on campus at some point later this spring or summer? You know, I, we're, as we look at it, we're planning right now. We're putting all the processes in place, uh, what we would have to do to bring our students back. Uh, and our goal is July 7th is probably the earliest date we could do, which is uh, the same date that the second summer session starts. Uh, we would bring back some football players or the football team. Uh, that point is our hope, but we're working with, you know, our internal athletic medicine and team doctors, uh, campus health, uh, our event facility folks, the county will obviously weigh in, uh, Aztec Shops that does the food and the nutrition, uh, housing. So there's a lot that goes into it. But right now, we think a July 7th date is good to then build into having all of our student athletes back when the fall semester starts. You know, I'm sure there's a lot of scenarios out there when it comes to fall sports. But, but as we discuss this today, uh, you're still hoping for, for football in September in San Diego with San Diego State. Yeah, we're definitely planning on playing our fall sports right now. Uh, we are looking at some of the social distancing uh, guidelines or, you know, different plans that various uh, professional and other collegiate schools are, are putting together. 
uh, as we look at SDCCU and what would that stadium look like under you know current requirements for social distancing? Uh, how many seats would we actually be able to utilize? So those are plans we're putting together. Uh, with you know, first and foremost is the health and well-being of our student athletes, our staff, and the people that are attending. Uh, and then we'll build from there. Will the league have a date in which um, you know students will have to be back on campus, student athletes, in terms of being ready to play football by late August or early September? Is there a specific date the university or the the league may be looking at? I don't know that the the league. It would, I think the football oversight committee, which is an NCAA group that's, you know, made up of FBS uh, conference membership is kind of landed on six weeks is, is where you would need to be. So a July 7th for us would give us plenty of time leading into that September 5th date, uh, our home over against Sacramento state. Some people have said, you know, could you do it as early as four weeks? Uh, but I think six to eight is probably the right place to be. And as we get further into June and right at the 1st of July, I think we'll know a whole lot more of what's going on. Could SDCCU Stadium be advantageous potentially this fall, considering the size of the venue, if you are allowed to have fans in a building, you know, within the city or the county? Could, could that work to your advantage potentially? Yeah, I mean, this is one of the times when SDCCU is a benefit uh, for our football program in that, you know, you've got 70,000 seats. And we'll be able to have more people in that building than, you know, other schools that might have smaller venues. So uh, that will be a benefit this year that we'll be able to spread people out. Uh, are there any changes that may be coming to other sports, uh, fall sports or otherwise in the Mountain West as it pertains to the coronavirus, whether it be scheduling or length of seasons or travel uh, that the league or the university is, is discussing? Yeah, we're definitely looking at some ways that we can, you know, uh, trim budgets, be more efficient with our budget dollars, knowing that we're going to see an impact on the revenue side. So it may be a, uh, you know, we may play le a few less games, certainly try to travel regionally. Uh, the conference, we may not host conference championships. We'll take the regular season champion. We'll get the automatic qualifier. I uh, just looking, really studying everything and being as absolutely efficient as we possibly can while still bringing all of our student athletes back and supplying them with a great opportunity. What has this been like for, you know, for your athletic department, for yourself, and obviously for your student athletes as well? I mean, this is something that clearly nobody has ever experienced. How is everyone holding up through this process? It's been, um, it's been interesting, that's for sure. Our student athletes wrapped up finals yesterday. Uh, they did a great job. Kudos to our coaching staff uh, and our academic staff for – staying in touch with our student athletes and making sure they're doing okay. Uh, we've been having regular, you know, Zoom calls. I caught, you know, every day's a Zoom-a-thon, I feel <laughs> like, but lots of calls with exec staff, our senior leadership. We do a head coach's call every week. We've been doing all staffs every other week and really trying to share as much information as we have so that, you know, kind of relieve some of that anxiety for people because, again, it's – it's something that's different. You're having to work. If you've got kids at home, you're having to deal with kids at home. Uh, it's, it's, it is a unique time. So, uh, but we'll be looking forward to hopefully getting people, you know, migrating in some form or fashion back to campus, you know, sooner rather than later. And then, you know, hopefully having student athletes back in July. There's been so much discussion, J.D., about football, but, you know, you look towards the, the success your basketball programs have had, specifically the men's basketball program last year, going 30-2. and two. Um, As you look towards basketball season as well in Viejas Arena, I know we're still probably about six months out from that, but what are your thoughts, uh, you know, heading into Viejas for next fall as well? Well, one more excited. I think Dutch and the coaching staff have put together another great team. We're going to have a great opportunity to, uh, to be successful. Uh, we're going to look at Viejas just like we are uh, SDCCU from what's the appropriate way to seat that building and, you know, current social distancing uh, options. And then as we get closer to the season, we'll adjust. And hopefully by that point, things will have improved and we'll be able to add more people to the building. Uh, but if not, we'll, you know, we'll create a way for hopefully as many people as possible to see the Aztecs play. We've got a great new TV deal as well that's going to give them an opportunity to watch the Aztecs on TV if they can't get to the building. J.D., great to catch up. Uh, hope you're doing well, your family as well. Hope to see you on the Mesa at some point later this summer as well. 
All right, John, I appreciate it as well. And definitely looking forward to seeing some people uh, in person as opposed to over Zoom. But until that time, go Aztecs and stay healthy.